Hello everyone. Today in the time series visualization using Tableau, we will be checking on the seasonality charts. Earlier we have checked on the slope charts, parkline charts and the control charts. Please check on the link about to check more about those charts. So now coming coming back to the seasonality charts. What is what are seasonality charts? So what is seasonality? So when there is a predictable change that occurs over a period of time, then it is called as like a seasonality. Say let's take for example the electricity bill uh, for a period for an year. So when is the electricity bill more? If you check like say for an um, state which is very close. Um, which is a very hard state, the electricity bill is going to be more in the months of uh, June, July, August or summer, summer months. So this is like a pattern that's developed over every year. If you see June, July, August is going to have like a more uh, shoot in the electricity bill because many, many people are um, using the air conditioning more and things like that. So discovering seasonality, it helps in identifying cyclic patterns and data and that can be used for predicting and forecasting. So today we will be checking about the seasonality chart. So this is the data set that we will be using for creating the seasonality chart. Uh, this is the New York energy consumption data. So we have like a timestamp and for every hour we have like a demand, I mean the temperature and what is the uh, demand of the energy, energy demand. And we also have a column precipitation. We will just be using the columns temperature, demand and the timestamp. Let's go ahead and create the seasonality chart. So here I've opened Tableau public and I've also I'm, I'm going to import the data New York energy consumption. And so here I have the um, time and also I have the demand and the, the temperature and the demand. Let's go into the worksheet. So I will uh, so I will move the my timestamp into the columns and then I will move my temperature into the rows so this gives like so let's do an average because this is at uh, every hourly level so let's go and do an average of the temperature so and then um, this is the average over a period of time and let's also call in the demand we also need to take the demand and let's take an average of the demand also so this uh, has my temperature and the demand so now let's go into a one level down so let's uh, go into like a monthly level instead of an yearly level so now it shows like there is an increase in the temperature around the month of uh, july and then you can see the demand also increasing in the month of july for each of the years to make it to show like a seasonality let's move uh, first let's break on the month and then let's break on the year so the moment we do that we can see how the as the temperature kind of increases the demand for uh, energy consumption also increases over a period of time so like say for example in the month of june and july you can see like the temperature is more and then you can also see the energy consumption is more let's uh, give in some colors and format this data let me add the temperature into the color And let's edit colors and give it like uh, green, gold, and red diverging. I will reverse it so when the temperature is more, it is showing me as red. And the same way, let us do it for the demand also. So here we can see how uh, the uh, as the temperature increases, the demand also increases. And when we put it as a seasonality chart, it gives us a better view of what uh, we can expect. Now, there is another way of creating the seasonality chart that's using the heat map. So I'm just going to duplicate this chart. Here I will just have the um, demand to show an idea of how it, it is. So let's move the demand into the color and uh, let's keep the year and the month and make it as like an entire view so you can see in the month of july it's all in the red shades while in the other 
the months say January to April, the temperature is less and also we can uh, know the demand is less. So this is how uh, the cycle charts work. We can uh, go ahead and add some borders and formatting. So these are the four uh, different types of uh, time series visualization using Tableau. This is the last one that we saw that is the seasonality charts. In the next video, let's see another kind of chart. Thank you.